Odessa, the biggest city of southern Ukraine, is famous for her sunny weather and her multicultural background. This city is so beautiful that people call her the Pearl of Black Sea. One of the Odessa lifestyle is the yard. In these three episodes, we are going to tell you the stories of Odessa yards. Maybe you want to subscribe us before we start this video. Today we are joining the tour. Hi, hello. Hi. My name is Polya. Katya. Nice to meet you. Katya, Katya. As a poor city, Odessa has big trading business. Rich merchants rent big houses near the port as a grain warehouse because they need storage as close as possible. Yard like this is quite a big one in the city center. I'm also very interesting about these old cars. Mm -hmm. I always say to my wife, I want to buy a Lada. <gasps> and she said, no, 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 no. Lada is, if you want to buy a Lada, you will want to buy a problem. A lot of cats. Oh, it's really a lot. Yeah. The cats are the owners of our city. They are everywhere. Everyone respects. Almost everyone respects the cats. The cats always uh, have something to eat, always have where to sleep. The people organized for cats, uh, small houses or, or small places like here. Mm -hmm. Since there were many grain warehouses, people kept cats to get rid of mice problems. And years after, the cats became the real owner of the city. Now you can see them everywhere, especially in the yards of Odessa. Previously here, we have just the big apartments. One apartment, something like 100, 200 square meters. Six, eight bedroom, it depends. And uh, as well, each uh, house have the owner. Mm -hmm. Or the old owner lives inside by himself, or he, some floors are, is for rent. Mm -hmm. And during the communism period, uh, all the buildings belong to the state. Government. There was no government, no owners at all. And all these big apartments start to become an apartments when the people lived all together, like in hostel, they just share bedroom, uh -huh. kitchen, and for example, like one room for one family. Yeah. Odessa was built like a trade port city, but we have some problems here. There is a step, so you can find no trees, no forest around Odessa. Uh, there was no railway station almost 100 years. Mm. The only way you can came in Odessa is using the seaside. Uh -huh. So to bring something in the city was enough expensive. And the first problem we have is how to build the city. The people to look for some decisions and they found some very interesting stone, the limestone or yellow stone. Yellow stone. Yeah. Uh, this is very soft, really the yellow stone the and it was taken from the catacombs. Yeah. The catacombs now, this is just empty underground tunnels from which uh, the stone was taken. Uh, we have maybe the largest one in Europe, maybe even in the world, mm -hmm. much more than 3,000 kilometers. We still don't know exactly because the research keeps going inside the underground tunnels. Mm -hmm. So whole uh, buildings in Odessa are, st are standing under these tunnels. Yeah. That's why we have a lot of problems. We don't have the metro, it's mm. impossible to do it. And we don't have underground parking. Mm. You can see a lot of cars, the people park them everywhere. Yeah, that's why. Uh, because we don't have the underground parkings and also because no one cares about it. You can leave your your car wherever you want. Yeah, I found out. Uh, it depends, I don't know. I never have the problem with the police. 
I try to park where, where it's possible, but as well, no one controls it. I think. Yeah. Sometimes, maybe once a year, they decide to control it. So, because it's uh, too soft, that you cannot uh, build underground parking. But no, you cannot because if you start to damage these tunnels, the city will fall down in the holes. Ah, the tunnels okay. are everywhere under all buildings. So, okay. Yeah. No trees around Odessa and no trees inside. All the trees that you can see now in the streets of our city is mangrove trees ah. they was bringing uh, from they Europe have. before we have nothing. Ah. Uh, that's why the trees here, unfortunately you cannot see the leaves now, they are not really typical for Ukraine. You can see a lot of platans, acacia, ah. sephora, Japanese sephora, so... Uh, so they are also is, foreign then. Yeah, <laughs> they are also... <laughs> interesting and interesting. And uh, one more problem here, no fresh water. Ah. We have sea, we have sea water, but no fresh water. No river. No river. The nearest river is enough far away. So the pump line the city received almost in 100 years. Uh, previously the people just bought the water. It was very expensive. And uh, of course the first buildings that exist here in Odessa, they have no bathroom inside you mm. don't need bathroom or water closet if you not, don't have water yeah. so uh, a lot of old blocks had bus houses the bus houses is not about spa or relax it's about just wash your just body. wash yourself <laughs> uh -huh. we don't have now a lot of bus houses of course the old one they became Unuseful and uh, the people destroy them, but some of them we have. We have now two oldest bus houses, they still worked, and one of these bus houses is right here. Ah. Uh, it worked till 1861. Oh. Yeah, long period already, and now it's uh, very popular because now it's already a kind of tradition to visit this bus house. This bus house is very popular between the local citizens between the local criminals, the local businessmen, uh, if some... They do business here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. They talk business here. Like we just watch Vikings, they take a bath and... Uh, they talk about... <laughs> the same. If some famous people, actors or singers visit Odessa, uh, as well they prefer to visit this bus house mm. because it's very, very authentic, very... Yes. Interesting. This is not the Moldovanka area, this is still central area. Uh -huh. uh, later I will explain you the difference. Okay. But you can see cats and they have also some food, some water here. Everyone still respect cats. But the mm -hmm. yards look like already the Moldovanka area. The uh -huh. building is small smaller. and the yard is much more smaller. Yes. So here the people have the entrance to the catacombs. From each yard the people have the entrance to the catacomb and how it was. You just took the stone and you just built the building around the entrance. Uh -huh. uh, the typical situation, the people are inside the apartment, yeah. so the door is open. If the door is open, it means someone is at home. Ah. The people used to live in this yard, like the yard is a part of their apartment. The kitchen is mm -hmm. enough small, if you want, for example, to fry fish, yeah. you should open all the window and all windows and all doors. So the people used to live, especially now, the weather is good, with opening doors and opening windows. Mm -hmm. And it's, the backyard is like their summer terraces, something mm -hmm. like that. Katya tells us one more story. In 1997, one very powerful and famous gangster used to come here every Saturday. One day, there was a killer shot and killed him from the bike. Now we even still can see the bullet holes on the stairs. And if he still survived today, maybe he's already becoming the mayor of Odessa. This is the old things. This is how the bus house works. They make it hot, uh -huh. and then it gives you back the temperature. 
It was making from the very old and strong metal, and now it's very very expensive because uh, if uh, you will make it extremely cold, it will broke, and we cannot repair it. It's too heavy, and it's very expensive to move it to some enterprise for repair it. Mm -hmm. You just burn it and put small water for you receive the temperature and the wet air inside the bathhouse. Ah. That's why the people that work in bathhouse, they should be really good professional for not to broke this mina. Uh -huh. Because the temperature of mina and the temperature of water, everything Cannot be too different. should be very important. This is a typical old essay, Maldavanka yard, with cats, with open galleries for second floor, with a lot of laundry. Uh, so mm, this is really, really, really cozy yard, yes. really typical one. It became so we can go there and for you understand the system of all that yard. is open so you can easily hear yes. someone is cooking you can easily smell what they are cooking that's why you can understand that the yard lived like one big family mm -hmm. uh, everyone know each other just everyone all the, we always say hello because it's like you enter someone's apartment yeah. everyone know what are you buying or what you prefer for morning tea or coffee are you smoking or not mm -hmm. which fish you buy for dinner, how old is your son or daughter, which school yeah. he visited, so the people knew everything about everyone. In the yard lived like one big family and the people prefer to live like this. Just they feeling the support and even the, if the apartment is not so comfortable like the new one they didn't want to change the place of living as well if we start to ask do we want to move to some more modern apartment they say no we have mm -hmm. this atmosphere of our yard we have this atmosphere of family we want to live all together the life this don't want like, to change the way of life yes yeah, this is like the life of one big community yes you can easily leave your children inside the yard and go to the work and someone will give food to your children you can easily leave your laundry if the rain will start someone will take them out wow. so because people in Odessa are very friendly mm -hmm. and if you enter some yard you should be ready first is people start to ask you who are you what are you doing where are you came from mm -hmm. but uh, they can easily ask you uh, to join uh, the food they cooked or to drink some tea mm -hmm. to speak about your country and to tell you the stories about their life mm -hmm. they like to speak with each other they like mm -hmm. this communication I have really strong soup, <laughs> meat, smell coming out from it's the possible kitchen. To go through the school and being hungry. <laughs> so his mafia was from 40 at the beginning till 4,000 people. Mm -hmm. All these people should respect the rules. No raids, no murders. Uh, everything should be quite uh, uh, comfortable for the person. She should bring the girl at home oh. and only there take her her <laughs> home. For she feel comfortable, for okay. she couldn't catch cold okay. like this.